50 years ago, we opened our doors back in 1968. And this all was created by a then governor, Rhodes, who had this vision that if we could bring multiple partners together, our schools, our community members, our business partners, we could create a network of schools in one central location that would bring even more opportunities to students to get career training, workforce training, and meet the demands of, of the workforce. And then you kind of continue on. I mean, for over 50 years, we've continued to evolve. If you would walk through our doors again um, back in 1968, you would have just seen juniors and seniors in all of our programs. Today, we've, we've evolved into providing multiple opportunities. So freshmen through seniors can take advantage of career tech education. That means they can come for short-term training, one-year training, two years, three years, and even up to four years. And with that, today on our on-campus programs, we serve over 1,200 9 through 12 students and an additional 700 students through multiple satellite programs that we have spread out through the community. And then we also serve close to 3,000 adult students through our adult technical center. And, and within those programs, whether you're, you're high school or adult, you have the opportunity to be really prepared for the workforce. They have the opportunity to get industry credentials, their technical skill attainment, pre-apprenticeship opportunities, and advanced placement into the business and industry of, of their choice, which really gives them a big stepping stone into their future goals and whatever direction that they're heading. TCEP is a big partner of ours. We look for ways that we can continue to be involved and support their mission as well. We also make sure within, within our goals of our school district is to be involved in the community, whether it's different community organizations or community service as a whole. That resulted in last year alone of over 4,000 hours of some type of community organization or community service involvement that our staff and students participated in here in Seneca County. While there are always many new and exciting changes happening in the district, the one thing that has stayed constant and, and will not change is the importance of working hand in hand with our community and business and industry partners. So with that, being honored with this award just makes us all so proud here at Vanguard Sentinel. I want to thank David Zach, the entire TSEP team, for acknowledging the Vanguard Sentinel Clear and Technology School District and the work that we do and we look forward to working with all of you now and well into the future.